So it's a question I hear a lot, membership versus online course. We're gonna be discussing them both in this video so you can understand which one is right for you. So hey there, Tim Peekman here. I am a Kajabi hero and I am a Kajabi fan. And the definition of a hero is anyone that's made at least $1,000 on the Kajabi platform. And this is why I've put together this program, Zero to Kajabi Hero, to walk and talk you through everything you need to know to actually get from where you are today to Kajabi Hero and beyond. Before we jump into any of the training, I want to first of all make you an offer. I wanna offer you my extended 30-day trial of Kajabi. That's over double the 14-day trial that's available to the public. You can get access, simply head on over to timpeakman.com forward slash Kajabi and create your account today. And as soon as you've done this, I will automate you a free course, Kajabi Unboxed. These are the things that you need to do immediately once you unbox your Kajabi account. And if you stick around at the end of that 30 days to become a paying member of Kajabi and know it and love it like I do, I will grant you another course. It's my sales page templates. You can just download these in a theme and then upload them into your Kajabi account. Yes, this is an affiliate link and all that means is part of your payment will come back to me in support of this channel at no extra cost to you. So that being said, let's dive straight on over into the training. Hope you enjoy. So in order to understand the main differences between a membership versus an online course, we really need to first understand what they entail. So if you go back into your Kajabi account and just click on new product, there's a course and community, which is Kajabi's version of a membership. So if you click on a course, and this is basically a little bit about what a course is, but these are some of the formats. You get video content, audio content, text lessons, quizzes and surveys, uh, membership area and exclusive downloads on a course, community, you get again live videos, um, video recordings, post feeds, mobile app and meetups. It sounds very similar until you fully understand what the main difference is. So a course is basically a linear program from start to finish and a membership or a community is an ongoing program. So typically they're gonna be charging uh, on a monthly basis or a regular interval, whatever that may be. So some pros and cons of both. A course can be great, but it might require a lot of upfront work to actually build out the entire course. But once a course has been built, then you can sell it over and over again. A membership or a community on the other hand, it might take a little bit less time to actually build or set up or start or launch, but then it takes monthly or ongoing commitment from you if you are the host of it in terms of putting fresh new content out there, coaching calls, engaging with your community. So understand the difference between the two and you've got to make that informed decision and it's a business decision which one is right for you. Probably a good example of this is the most recent Kajabi Hero Live. This was Kajabi's live event where they actually showcased um, their new community. So they acquired Vibly and they just implanted Vibly under the Kajabi banner. And I'm gonna show you the differences between the community and then what they've had uh, packaged up is all of the replays of the live event. So the community served as a uh, an online mobile hub for people who are actually at the event and communicating. There was challenges. I'm going to pop that out in one link. And then there was all the replays once people had uh, got home after the event and then all the recordings and everything were available to those people who have purchased. So this is what the online community or membership looks like. So this is the main difference. So you've got feeds here so anyone chatting in feeds like putting a post up it's a little bit like a facebook group but it's very bespoke challenges so if you wanted to call your members to take action you could actually post a challenge like introduce yourself um you, you can ask the expert and all of these things that were actually posted up as challenges meetups are actually online calls uh, or actually in this case it's because it was a physical event these were hosted meetups live in person and then any event in information here, uh, wait lists or event info, um, you could actually put like a title page here. This is like a welcome, a welcome to the community. I, I would always recommend to try and put like a welcome video if you have any sort of community with community guidelines to try and get the app 
Then this was the agenda for the actual event, agenda on day one, agenda on day two, and agenda on day three. So this is a great example and, and some floor maps as well. So it's a great example of how a community could work. Down here in the bottom left, you have circles. So these are just like chat forums, a hero chat in real life meetups, um, a little bit like a Facebook group, but it's very, very bespoke. That's what the Kajabi community looks like and that's what the Kajabi membership function is. If I was then to pop open to all of the recordings, this is a course. This is a proper start, finish, linear course. And actually this is one of Kajabi's courses. They've just got some uh, bespoke branding on there. This is just day one recap, day two recap. And as you can see, there's, there's like two main modules. And as you click into each one is a lesson. And this is Ahad, this is just the introduction and the welcome. A little bit of um, details about him and then the comments and people would chat in the comments. So this is how a course would look from start to finish. And this is how a membership would look from start to finish. Membership is ongoing. A course has a very definite start and finish. So have a think about what you would like to build out for your online business and the pro understand the pros and cons of both of them and then make that informed decision. So that's it. Hopefully you found value in this training and you got something out of it and you managed to implement something. If you haven't done already, claim your free account. That link once more, head to timpinkman.com forward slash Kajabi and look for that free mini course that I'll be granting you. Check your spam if it's not there. And if you are progressing past that 30 days and you become a paying member like me, just reach out to me, Tim, at timpeatman.com and I'll grant you that second mini course which involves the sales page templates so you can just download them and upload them into your Kajabi account. And I look forward to seeing you on another video soon.